very disappointed that, that Jalen got hurt, uh, hurt his ankle. I don't know the, you know, they'll take him to the hospital now, so get that x-ray. Uh, so that's, that was extremely disappointing for him. He's come off a knee injury out of high school, came in early, and um, so I'm going to be calling the parents here in a minute. That won't be very much fun. So um, hopefully nobody's tweeted it out yet so I can call the parents when they see it. Um, but in a world that we live in now, probably somebody did, not being inconsiderate. So go ahead. This is one of those things Coach K kind of got caught on a turf a little bit. His ankle, right? I had no idea. I just saw it, he got up, and his ankle was hurt. Mike, what do you look for in the first scrimmage, and did you see it today? Well, I'll watch the film, but I saw a lot of it. I saw a lot of energy. I saw a lot of hitting on both sides of the ball, which we wanted. Some good physicalness. I saw plays made by both sides of the ball. That's kind of what you want to see, and uh, uh, we worked out a lot of things hard. And, the great thing is we'll have the film, we'll improve, we'll improve on the stuff next week. And um, so I thought that was a good side, side of the scrimmage. A lot of battles uh, in all the positions, but defensive back seems to be one that's going to be uh, right right up until kickoff in the first game. Yeah, we have a lot of really good returning defensive backs, and we lost some really good ones. Um, and I thought, and then with our receivers being so good, uh, it's great competition for them all the time. But yeah, we'll keep them competing, and we'll go on and watch the tape. And, uh, and then look at what we want to do for this uh, next week. We don't know what we want to do as far as installation and all that, but as far as how we want to play them in um, certain positions or right or left corner or nickel or safety, we'll look at that um, further as we go on. In the quarterback position, you see Montez take the opportunity that he had last year. Do you see that growth on a daily basis, and how much will that help him coming into this year, Coach? Yeah, I've seen a good growth on him. You know, he made a bad throw there on the first drive, uh, but uh, you know, he bounced back. And the good thing about Steven is it didn't phase him. Uh, he learned from it, and then he just came back slinging it again. You don't want him to be hesitant. And so I always think it's good. He's had a good um, camp, so has um, Sam Noyer, so has Tyler Lytle, and Casey Marksbury. So I feel good about how the quarterbacks are progressing. Does it help those, those quarterbacks, those quarterbacks like Sam and Tyler, to make some plays out here in front of some people? You think that helps our Yeah, I think it bit? always does. I mean, um, yeah, in front of in some people, it's good. You kind of get on a big stage, but anytime they make plays, it always gives them more and more another notch of confidence. And probably out here like this, it maybe gives it a little bit extra notch. Got a chance to see a lot of your young guys. I know you mixed them into different positions or different places in the lineup. Did you see anybody that flashed at you that said, "Yeah, that's what we were expecting to see"? Uh, I guess a little too early um, just until I watch the film and, and see on that um, and, and look at it. You know, a couple, uh, you know, Fontenot made a nice run, um, so that was good to see. I thought a couple guys made some um, good defensive plays too. Uh, I think Jacob had a pick, so those type of things stood out. But that might, that hopefully, that wasn't their only good play. You know, when you go watch film, you see a lot of different things. Was it nice to see the defense make some plays? I mean, this is a team oh, yeah, of yeah, eight yeah, guys yeah. and yeah, you, know, you want to make plays. On, and, yeah. When you have a scrimmage, as a head coach, you want to see both sides making plays, and I thought we saw that today. Uh, when one side completely dominates the other, that's when you get a little nervous, to be honest with you. Coach, when you see a team that, that made the jump that you guys made last year, yeah. obviously you want to continue to build forward with that. How do you take that momentum from last year? I know it's, there's a lot of new players, but guys were here for the success. What's the main key for you going in and out each practice that you continue to build that? Well, uh, we keep telling them they're a new team. You know, last year was last year. It gave us a great foundation and our um, culture understands the work ethic that it takes, so they've carried that on. But it's a new team, so new guys got to step up, new players got to play. You win differently every year, so we got to find out how this team's going to win. And uh, we figured out the MO Power team last year's going to win, now we got to figure out how we're going to win this year. So we're, we're starting to figure that out, but they all have to realize last year when we lined up and play against uh, CSU, the first game doesn't mean anything. You got to go do it all over again, so I think they understand that. Coach Jawan looked like that yeah, uh, stage there. What's been impressive to you about his game? Yeah, Juwan's made some good plays out there uh, today. You know, he's long and athletic, and we've got some other guys made some good plays too. So I'm excited about Juwan. I'm excited about uh, all our receivers. The defensive line had a couple great goal line stands. How did you feel about that? Uh, well, defensively, I was excited. Offensively, I wish we would have knocked him off the ball a little more. Um, and we did a couple times. Uh, but that's that's good. That was good to see the physicalness of it, especially with a lot of our new D linemen out there to see in that situation that they had enough girth and enough fight to them to hold hold the point. Because sometimes in that situation it doesn't happen. So I was glad to see that. James hitting the uprights a couple of times, one uh -huh. bounces back. What did you see on the kicks that he missed? I don't know how to look at on film. They sure didn't get up high and they were hit good. It wasn't bad hits. He just barely off. So as he, he had, as you can tell how quick his ball up and how strong his leg is, he'll be good. You just gotta keep working at it.
third practice in full pads. Are you about where you want to be right now in the whole process of training camp? Uh, you always want to be ahead, you know, as a coach. But I definitely feel like our physicalness, what we, you know, we threw a lot at them, and they, I thought they competed well today uh, on that. So I would say, yeah, we're, we're where we want to be. Is it where we, um, you know, you always say you're not where you want to be, but you're trying to get there, so to speak. So I'm not disappointed, but I always like more. <laughs> Jacob Collier seemed to really step up today. Yeah, Jacob's done really well. I've, I've been impressed with Jacob. Um, and uh, uh, he's had a couple picks in practice like that one today. He's kind of got a knack uh, uh, when he drops out of there as an outside backer. Um, and he shows some good instincts rushing. So hopefully he'll keep that going and uh, maybe be able to help us this year. He's the 44 is making big plays, basically. Yeah, exactly. And they, Taron didn't practice today? Yeah, he had a concussion uh, okay. earlier in the week. It, but he's, it's, Every concussion is serious, but his was his wasn't one where it's lingered. He turned back quick. He's bright eyed. He's passed the different protocols, so he's on his way back. So he should be practicing this week. And how about the MRI with Shamar? Did you guys find out anything there? Um, yeah, he is gonna have to get his knee operated on. He tore his knee up. So ACL? It, uh, no, it's not an ACL. It's um, I'm not a doctor, and all y'all know that. But it's uh, uh, uh kind of between the, the PCL in there, not the PCL because you don't always operate, but it's. Uh, more of the cartilage area is kind of torn away, and they got to go back in and sew that up and fix it back. So that, Ask Dr. McCarty, he can tell is, you. Is that season ending? Yeah, you? yes, yes, yeah, it okay. is season ending, yes. What about Nick Fisher? Um, hamstring, had a tight hamstring the other day, so we held him out today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.